Oh, hi there! Welcome to Trailer Reaction Videos. My name is Matthew B. Lamont. Today we're going to look at the trailer to Street Gang, which is streaming on December 13th. So, what's it about? Well, it's based on a book by the same name called Street Gang, How We Got to Sesame Street. This one talks about the origins of Sesame Street and the impact it followed. In 1969, Joan Gantz Cooney premiered this educational program to teach inner-city kids about the basics of reading, writing, and arithmetic, especially, specifically the preschoolers. And I just, and that's interesting, and I also had like people being of various ethnicities and races, and even Muppets and Monsters too, as well as skits, comedy skits, Muppet skits. Uh, shot on 16 millimeter film skits, animated skits, and musical skits. Now there's like a documentary that came out, and I it premiered theatrically. Now it's streaming, and also uh, early this year there was uh, one uh, documentary called "50 Years of Sunny Days," Sesame Street "50 Years of Sunny Days," which aired on ABC, and then shortly after there was. Street Gang. Now Street Gang is coming to HBO Max on December 13th and I can't wait to see what this new trailer is. So, here it is. Street Gang. <laughs> this was an experiment. Children were watching a tremendous amount of television. So why not see if it could educate them? Our target audience were inner city children. We had struggled with the idea of the setting for the show. I wanted to capture that New York energy. Because to the three-year-old is cooped up in the room upstairs, the action is on the street. <laughs> We were on pins and needles before it went on the air. <laughs> it was as if the world had been waiting for this. What she is doing is what television would do if it loved people instead of trying to sell to people. I think you're right. Yeah. Yay! The diversity of the cast was unheard of. It was amazing. People of all races live together, kids, adults, and monsters. <gasps> I think they started feeling a little pressure. In the affluent suburbs of Jackson, Sesame Street is not on the air. Some who saw it apparently disliked the number of black performers. Ah, oh, shut up. You don't see yourself in the media. Then you get the feeling that you're not part of this culture. Television has so much power of doing that. Take one, roll it. Ah, see? Yeah, reach out to people ethnically, of course. <laughs> That Street Gang streaming December 13th on HBO Max. Now I'm thinking, okay, that is fun to watch. I get to see the origins of it, how to get all how it got all started. And I remember when I and what next? A reading rainbow documentary? Hmm. Roll that clip. There's been a Mr. Rogers documentary and a Mr. Rod and a Mr. Rogers feature film. And there's been a Sesame Street documentary now, and I predict it'll be a Sesame Street feature film. Well, I have a question. How about a Reading Rainbow documentary? Yeah, it's happening. It's called Butterfly in the Sky. Huh. What will they think of next? 
So, that's a Reading Rainbow documentary. But going back to uh, Sesame Street, so I would say that this is worth a watching and analyzing, understanding how it had an impact on our culture. I mean, now Joan Candace Cooney, when she made that show, we, we ha there was like mass merchandising throughout the 70s. There was like a theme park in 1980, a movie in 1985, and uh, another one in 1999. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't want to discuss about that right now. It's a good show. Great, sweet, sends me back to memory lane. And now, I can't wait to watch it. So what do you think? Do you, do you, what are your thoughts on it? Would you like to watch it? Comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Matthew Belmont saying, have a nice day. Trailer Reaction Videos has been brought to you today by the letters E, T, and the number six. Trailer Reaction Videos has been a production of Matthew B. Lamont Productions. Goodbye. As 2021 is coming to a close, a new season of stop motion rarities will continue bringing in more animated treasures. Speaking of stop motion, in honor of Tom Grove's documentary, The Legend of King Kong, this channel will present to you Hail to the King, a King Named Kong, both the original and extended edition, which is a 12 part mini series. Those two will premiere in January. 2022. This is WMBL Channel 9 Somewhere. What? Can't I do a parody?